Santos, what's your reaction to the expulsion? This morning, after serving for just under 11 months, embattled Republican Congressman George Santos voted out of office. Two-thirds voting in the affirmative. The resolution is adopted. 105 yes votes coming from his own party. Santos walking out before the official vote was announced. Did you know this is how it was going to go? Defiant as ever, with these parting words for reporters. You know what? As unofficially already no longer a member of Congress, I no longer have to answer a single question you guys. That is the one thing that I've been His office locks changed and nameplate removed. Santos becomes only the sixth member of the House of Representatives to be ousted in U.S. history. This is a very rare event that we saw House members voted to remove one of their own. Their razor-thin majority becomes even thinner. It's going to be even more difficult for Speaker Mike Johnson to be able to push forward conservative agenda items in the House of Representatives. His removal coming after hours of House debate yesterday. Republicans cautioning against removing a member who hasn't been convicted of a crime. Kicking out Mr. Santos is setting a very dangerous precedent. Democrats saying Santos was kept around to help his party slim majority. House Republicans needed George Santos's vote. Since being elected last year to New York's third district, his propensity for seeming to lie invited endless scrutiny and became fodder for parody on Saturday Night Live. Everything out of your mouth is a lie. You're spending your resume. You lied about being Jewish. Are you even gay? Of course I'm gay, Colin. I invented being gay. I was the one at Stonewall who said, here's an idea. You guys should kiss. But his expulsion ultimately came after he was accused of a slew of financial crimes, including spending thousands of dollars from his campaign on personal expenses, like rent, designer clothes, Botox, and purchases on the website OnlyFans, known for its adult content. He denies the allegations. There had been a near constant scandal surrounding George Santos from the moment that he stepped foot on Capitol Hill. And during his entire tenure as a congressman, that did not stop. There were questions raised about Santos before he was elected, including from a local Long Island paper, the North Shore Leader. People in the newspaper had spoken to him. They knew he was a liar. Democrat Robert Zimmerman, who challenged Santos, says he tried to bring attention to that reporting. We gave it out door to door. We tried to build it. It was very hard to get oxygen around it. But it didn't gain traction. And Santos won by about eight percentage points in a district Biden carried in 2020. And I take full responsibility for it. It was a mistake, and uh, we're going to correct that mistake. Joe Cairo is the GOP chair of the New York County that's partially in Santos' district. He says at the time, Santos was the only option for Republicans. He wanted to run, seemed passionate, seemed like, uh, you know, a good choice, and we went with him. Turned out to be a terrible mistake. Earlier this year, we all called for him to step down, but I took full responsibility. The now disgraced politician ran on the promise that anyone can succeed in our country. As your congressman, I pledge to protect the American dream for all. A young, gay, Brazilian-American Republican, seen by some as what could be the future of the party. But it turned out his resume was littered with false claims. From the schools he says he attended, the prestigious Horace Mann High School, New York University. He said he was a top volleyball player at Baruch College. The kicker, he never even went. To his work history, Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, which he even testified to under oath. None of it true. He also falsely linked himself to various tragedies and identities. I've seen how socialism destroys people's lives because my grandparents survived the Holocaust. <laughs> I'm a Jew, trust me. <laughs> he later attempted to clarify to Fox News his connection to Judaism. My heritage is Jewish. I've always identified as Jewish. I was raised a practicing Catholic. I've always joked with friends and circles, even with in the campaign, I'd say, guys, I'm Jew-ish. He said his mom died from complications caused by 9-11 when she wasn't even in the U.S. at the time of the attacks. How do you hope your constituents can trust you, even though that you've misrepresented your biography to them? Will you step down? I will not. His financials attracted the most serious attention. In his disclosure report last year, he reported assets valued between over two and $11 million after having a salary of just $55,000 in 2020. 
In May, federal prosecutors slapped him with 13 charges, including wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds, and making false statements. One of the charges stemming from allegations of unemployment fraud. Why would you apply for unemployment benefits when you had a job making $120,000 a year? Rachel, this is part of my defense. This is inaccurate information, and I will get to clear my name on this during the pandemic. It wasn't very clear. I don't understand where the government's getting their information, but I will present but my facts. In October, 10 more federal charges were brought against Santos for allegedly stealing from his donors and falsifying campaign filings. I have, no, the I have no clue of what you guys are talking about. No, I will not. Excuse me. Pardon me. Then in November, the House Ethics Committee released a blistering report building on those charges. Regardless of what this report says, is your plan to fully serve, stay in Congress, I'm, not resign? Like I've said before, I'm staying in the in, in office for sure. Santos has pleaded not guilty to all federal charges. It's not just constituents, colleagues and donors who say Congressman Santos has lied to them. Look, How would you describe George Santos? He's a compulsive liar. Uh, compulsive isn't even the word. It's, I think he needs to lie more than he needs to breathe. Richard Ostoff says he never thought he'd fall victim to a con artist. He says Santos's animal charity helped raise money on GoFundMe for his dog Sapphire's expensive surgery. But Richard says the money that could have saved Sapphire never came through. And the pit bull died three months later. $3,000 was raised. 3000 was raised. Did you ever see a penny of Not that? Not at all. No, none. All I saw was heartbreak and uh, frustration. That was all he gave me. A source close to the GoFundMe situation confirmed to ABC News that it was George Santos who ran the account to help Sapphire. I have no clue. ABC News asked about. George Santos no if he remembered about. Richard. Do you remember the gentleman who claims that you took money? He claimed he never met me, and I never met him. It's on the record. For him to not be embarrassed by any of it, to be laughing and smiling and joking around like it's all just nothing, just being so nonchalant about it, it's disgusting. It's so strange and surreal. Who is George Santos? Nobody knows. Santos' expulsion from Congress today, a small bit of closure for Richard. I'm going to sleep a lot better knowing that that excuse for a person is not in power, doesn't have any type of voting rights uh, in Congress anymore. He was dangerous. I'll feel fully vindicated when he's locked up. Santos's trial for the federal charges is scheduled for next September. Some of the charges that he's facing are very serious. There are some charges and, and counts that call for a jail time of up to 20 years. New York Governor Kathy Hochul now has 10 days to schedule a special election to fill Santos's seat. There are are going to be efforts on the part of Republicans to try and keep that seat within Republican hands, but it's going to be an uphill battle for them after all of this. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.